Hey, Jared Cameron here with Ruel and Terry. Concrete seshing it up because how Sydney trickers do it. Say hi. Jared. Alright. Um, so yeah, this is a bee twist tutorial, butterfly twist. I'll demonstrate one. So these guys. This is a butterfly twist. Yeah, that's a butterfly twist. It's a pretty basic trick. It's like one of the important tricks you need because you, know, you can combo pretty much everything. It's got like a gajillion variations and it's just like an awesome looking trick. Like angry women and bitches love butterfly twists. So um, go through step through step through butterfly twist. Alright, you want like an awesome like bee kick? Somebody do a bee kick? What do you reckon you need for a bee kick? So they're like, they're pretty good B kicks, like you could probably have a worse B kick and still get B twists. B twists aren't hard tricks, but you know, it's always fun to have a good B kick because you know, you can show off with your butterfly twists a lot. So um, with the setup, we'll pretend it's like a B kick, you come from the top and you come down up like that, you need a lot of dip. Butterfly twists are all about dips, it's, you know, like, lick the ground, licking the ground's cool. So your setup. Take a step, take another step, and that's from like the standing position. Once again, set up. Hi, Jared. Okay, so that's your setup. It's going to be the same as standing, except with that extra step like that. Yep. So that's the setup. Um, Hi. With butterfly twists, we've got to see it as. B kick twist rather than a butterfly twist. Butterfly oh, twist, you man. really need to delay the twist. You gotta like come up as high as you can, almost as high as you can, and then twist. So I'd say you come down, you wanna peek up, you're gonna get your right leg. For me, it's my right leg. For you, it could be different, I don't know. So you get your right leg, come up as high as you can with the chest. It's gonna try and be level. Like when you first start, it won't be perfectly flat, but you know. Happens, right? What? All right, so um, you come for the dip. It's gonna be flat. You oh. want to come about. You want to leave the ground, and just as your the foot on the ground, once you lift off with this leg, this foot, just as your toe comes off, maybe two blinks, three blinks. That's when you want to twist. And you want to twist like the same you twist like in a normal like 360. So you twist like that. That's how you don't twist. So it could be different, and you really, really want to tilt your neck to the side. That's how you spot. Like most tricks, when you start, you won't spot. But if you learn to spot in your B twist, you have really sweet, clean, floaty B twist. Right. right. With landing, you kind of want to. When you go for the twist, as I said before, you turn your neck right around like a shitload. That's for like twists. Your body follows your neck. We know that. So. Oh my God! A play. But like when you first start off, you really got to spot the ground and just like I sort of stick that leg out and just come in for the landing. Um, I personally landed mine like flat two feet. That was just because I was shitting it the whole time and really scared. But you know, it could be different for you guys. You could just land it. But um, yeah. So you gotta make sure to be kick twist rather than butterfly twist. Sounds stupid, but like. Trust me, that would help a lot. Oh, by the way, you don't want to delay it too much. Or delay it. In flames! Right, um, for during this trick, once you go from B kick to B twist, it is a pretty big step. Like, B twist at first can be pretty scary, but it's like backflips. You just gotta like vault up and like ovaries up if you're a chick and just like go for it, man. Just go for like it. it. Go from B kicks, have like, you know, good B kicks, that's cool. Then I'd say with your first B twist, go for like. Sand or some shit. Like, <laughs> sand's good to trick on, like, trick into. So, like, long pit, like, long jump pits, so, like, heaps good. Um, maybe even if you have a gym, just, like, throw it onto mats. I started on a pit, which doesn't really teach you anything. Like, you learn the form, but you, you just really gotta go for it. So, yeah, um, yeah. go for it. Alright, um, troubleshooting. There's a lot of shit that can go wrong with. Butterfly twist, you gotta like, well, like a cool socks. Shitty B twist, like, you may not be getting flat enough, 
If you're not flat enough, like doing your beat twist like there, you're probably not dipping enough, and you probably got a shit B kick. So like if you like there, definitely drill your B kick and definitely dip. So I'm twisting like at that angle, I suppose. You want to dip way more, and that's real well. Get your B kick like. Here you want to keep your body flat when you come off. You don't want to be up like, and you don't. You still want to be anywhere other than that. Um, don't twist on the ground. You want to twist in the air. So when you have your set up, so I might set up there rather than there or there. Um, later on, like, that may help you for swing throughs and that, but, yeah, you want to keep your set up, like, oh, maybe. that. So, if I start here, I want to be, when I take off the ground, I want to be facing that way. So, yeah, that's a butterfly twist. So, uh, here's a couple examples of how not to butterfly twist. Basically, face that piece. That was Ruel's shitty one. Yeah. Oh. Um, you're not doing that a beat twist. Side, bad side, bad side. That was a bad side beat twist. You're not doing a beat twist if you do this. That's not a beat twist. Yeah, that's pretty good. Right. <laughs> that's like a. It's like a hyper twist. Go home and yeah, you're right. eat don't some noodles money. twist. Shit. Um, and you don't want to delay it too much, so. You could probably do that B twist if you start, probably not, it's kind of stupid because you just probably won't be able to do it yet, but like, yeah, only go for that when you're good at B twist and like, it sucks with comboing, don't ever do that in a combo, it'll just slow you completely down and like, yeah, it just won't be good. Opening out can be a big problem, you don't want to open out too early because you just Make take mine. it in the ass like hard and it'll really hurt. No, not really. It Anyways, and you don't wanna <laughs> You don't wanna over twist, so like because <laughs> you might hyper it. <laughs> I know that sounds good, but hypering it can stuff your ankles up really easily. You wanna do that. Or you can just face plan. I've had mates that done that. Kevin, you're cool at face planning. Alright, um I'm gonna edit this out. You're in the frame anyway. Okay. Oh, shut the hell up. Alright, one more time. B twist with all the steps that Hopefully I taught, I might have forgotten something or whatever. Oh, you know, set up. First step, you're gonna step. It's gonna be an exaggerated step, like the setup is an exaggerated step. <laughs> That's real well. Alright, so you do the step. I'm not step, doing it. arms up, you're gonna dip, come up, so we're facing that way. Kinda of like a ballerina that's all like, yeah! Oh, it's butterfly! But it was good. It's so, alright, with all the steps applied. Um yeah, here we go. Yeah, that's a butterfly assist. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. That's Ruel and that's Terry. Walking off. That's Ruel and that's Terry. He's not walking me. <laughs>